Hello! Today we're going to talk about a wonderful resource called Chronicling America, Historic American Newspapers. Let me tell you a little bit about Chronicling America. It was created by the Library of Congress in partnership with the National Endowment for the Humanities, and it contains two sections. One is digitized American newspapers from 1789 to 1963. This includes select issues of over 3,000 newspapers for a total of over 16 million digitized pages, and it is searchable by keyword. The other section is the U.S. Newspaper Directory, which covers 1690 to the present day. And that provides complete bibliographic information, the coverage, frequency, availability, location of holdings for over 156,000 newspapers. And you can use this to determine if newspaper coverage exists for the place and time period that you are researching and where you can access it. For more information, you'll want to visit chroniclingamerica.loc.gov. Let's talk about searching the digitized newspapers. You can dive right in and do a simple search. You can search all of the states or limit to a particular state. You can search the entire range of years, 1789 to 1963, or you can limit your search term, your search date, and then you'll enter your keyword search. Here is an example of the search screen. You've got a drop down menu where you'll choose your state. Circled in red is where you'll indicate the uh, range of years that you want to search. You can do your beginning year and your ending year, and then you have a keyword search box. Here's a search that I did for newspapers from the state of Alabama starting in 1880, ending in 1900, for the keyword steel. And you can see that I got 10,143 results. The results are sorted by relevance, or you can change that and sort them by date. And you can change the number of the results that are displayed per page. This is a relevant search, so you'll see that the ones that have the most hits appear first, and the keywords are highlighted in pink. If you click on the link or the paper page itself, you can get a, f a view of the newspaper. And here's one up close. This is an issue of the Age Herald. This was a Birmingham newspaper. And this particular issue ran on February the 19th, 1899. And you see the article and a nice map of the Birmingham district that was included in the paper that day. You can also do an advanced search, which allows you to select your state or the individual newspaper, but remember this is a very long list. And you can narrow your date range by year, you can choose the language of the paper's publication, and then you can have more options with your search terms. You can choose from an any word, all words, a phrase, or you can do a proximity search, which finds your keywords within 5, 10, 50, or 100 words of each other. Here's an example of the advanced search screen. You've got the menu where you select your state, or you can select your newspaper. You can put in your range of dates, and then you can do your keyword search and your proximity search. Let's talk about determining coverage for a particular place or date in Chronicling America. You can see a full list of digitized titles by clicking on the All Digitized Newspapers 1789 to 1963 tab at the top of the search screen, and then a list of digitized titles appears. It's arranged alphabetically by state and then title. The city of publication and the dates that the paper ran are below the title. These dates are for the entire run of the newspaper, not just what is contained in Chronicling America. The columns labeled number of issues, earliest date, and last date are how you determine how much of the paper is included. If the word yes appears in the last column, you can find valuable information about the history of the newspaper, including its origins, all of the places of its publication, and the duration of its run. This information, unfortunately, has not been provided for every title. So here is the list of digitized papers for Alabama and circled in red is the Birmingham Age Herald. And this paper had a long run in Birmingham. It was a very prominent newspaper. It was preceded by papers called the Age Herald and this Birmingham State Herald. So the Birmingham Age Herald ran from 1902 to 1950. Now, unfortunately, I can look at this list and tell that not all of those years have been digitized by Chronicling America. You can see that there are only 470 issues included in the database. They begin with the May 21st, 1902 issue and end with the December 31st, 1903. So even though this paper had a 48-year run, only about a year and a half of it is actually included in Chronicling America. 
And that's very helpful to know. It's always a good idea when you're doing any database research to determine the scope of the database. What is actually included in it? That will save you some frustration if, you, if what you're searching for is not actually part of the database. And then you can tuck that away, put it in your research toolkit, and later on you might find that it's helpful for helpful to you. Also keep in mind that online sources like this are constantly changing. New content is always being added, so something that's not here now may be here six months from now. So it's a good idea to check back on a regular basis and see what changes have been made. And now down at the bottom by the Memphis Daily Appeal, I've got a red arrow pointing to the letter, pointing to the word yes. And that tells me that there's more information about this paper. And I'm going to want to click on that because Memphis Daily Appeal is appearing in my list of Alabama newspapers. And I'd like to know why. So here is the more information that Chronicling America includes for the Memphis Daily Appeal. And right here under geographic coverage, it says that it includes Selma, Alabama and Montgomery, Alabama. And if I look at the history of the paper, which is actually several paragraphs long, I learned that this was a paper that was published during the Civil War, and it actually moved around a lot to avoid being captured by the Union Army. So it was, at brief periods of time, published in Montgomery and Selma, Alabama. And after the Civil War, it returned to Memphis, where it continued to be published. So that information is good to know, and that, that helps clear up some confusion about why a Memphis paper is appearing in my list of hits when I'm searching for Alabama. So take advantage of the information that's provided to you. It can help make things a little more clear. Let's talk about the U.S. newspaper directory, which covers 1690 to the present. And that's exactly what it says it is, a comprehensive list of American newspapers published from 1690 to the present day. And it can help you identify what titles exist for a specific place and time and how to access them. You can browse by title, but do remember that there are over 156,000 of them, so that's another very long list. And you can also search by state, county and city, or keyword. You can limit your search by the newspaper's frequency, language, ethnicity, or union affiliation. If you get no results with a very specific search, say you're doing a state, county, and city search, be patient and enter fewer variables. For example, I searched for Birmingham newspapers and I used as my search parameters Alabama, Jefferson County, and Birmingham, and I got no results. So I did a less specific search using just Alabama and Birmingham without Jefferson County, and I got 27 hits. So here's what the search screen looks like. You can obviously just go in and search by title, or you can choose your location, your keyword, and several other options. And all of the information that's included is uh, the date of publication, the place of publication, the frequency, whether it was daily, weekly, bi-weekly, etc., the geographic coverage. There are even helpful notes about any gaps in publication that could explain why particular issues are missing, any related titles uh, that cover the same geographic area, and links to libraries or institutions that have the newspaper and what their holdings are. Here is the page for the Birmingham News, and it does say that it covers Birmingham, Alabama. It was first published in 1890 and is continuing to be published. There is a note in the frequency about how it's published three times a week. That's current, uh, it, that, which is a change. Birmingham News switched to three days a week. It used to be seven days. And then there are some notes about the newspaper. And then there is information about which libraries have the Birmingham News. And these notes can sometimes be a little confusing. I've been looking at catalog records for a long time, and I still get a little confused by them sometimes. It's not always laid out in uh, very basic terms which institutions have which issues and what their format is. You might find it helpful to actually contact a particular institution if you can't determine from this exactly what their holdings are. So in conclusion, Chronicling America provides free digital access to over 3,000 American newspapers. But remember that not all newspapers have had their entire run digitized. The American Newspaper Directory can help you determine if a paper exists for the time and place that you're interested in. And that can lead you to information like death notices, wedding announcements, or just some good local history. And it will tell you where you can locate past issues of each newspaper. These tools were created by the Library of Congress in partnership with the National Endowment for the Humanities, and the great news is that they are completely free. 
Thank you for listening. If you have any questions, contact the Southern History Department at the Birmingham Public Library at our email, askgenlocal at cobpl.org. Thank you.